This is my Lassadora Parabana Salmon Pink Bird Eater. I've had this one for about two and a half years. Or oh, as a juvenile, confirmed female. She's been in this setup ever since I bought her. Um, I've done this setup three years ago. Left it for six months before putting the spider in there. And she's doing absolutely superb in this tank. I've not had to do hardly anything to this tank. Just your regular maintenance. Any leaves dropping off. Just picked them up. Obviously clearing out any leftover crickets. Top up the water bowl when needed. So yeah, all the plants are absolutely thriving in here. This plant here is actually just a bonsai tree. And since I've planted it in here, it's just literally exploded. It's made like a canopy all around the roof of the enclosure. Got my carpet moss to keep humidity in. Um, the only thing where it's an old fish tank, you don't get your cross ventilation. So what I've found I've had to do, it's got such a big top to it, I have had to put some cling film, wrapped it around the mesh in the middle, so it doesn't dry out too quick. Uh... Also, what I've done is installed two tiny fans at the top, so I get a condensation up the side of the glass due to watering the plants. I'll just switch these on for ten minutes. So you just get a slight, slight airflow going through the enclosure, circulates the air. I tested them out first because obviously you don't want a gout fault wind blowing through the enclosure. That would just stress the spider out. But it's very slight but it works. I wouldn't say these were overly aggressive. Um, she can flick hairs. She's done that a few times. She's never produced a threat pose at me though. She's very inquisitive. Every time I fill up her water bowl or do a maintenance around the enclosure, she likes to follow me around. I think it's just due to her sheer size that she's just not afraid. Instead of bolting into her hide, she'll come out of her hide if I'm doing anything around the enclosure. But she's always out. Very good display spider as well. She either chills out down the entrance of a hide there, or sometimes she goes up the top there and just sits up the top. Evening times, she'll have a little wander around, webs up around the enclosure. Very interesting species. I wouldn't say they're the most colourful teas, but after a fresh molt. You can see the nice pink hairs on the dark body, hence its name, Salmon Pink. Uh, I recommend this species to uh, to everyone, including beginners. Uh, they're always hungry. She never refuses food, only when in pre-malt. They get to massive sizes. I mean, I've heard that this can match the Ferraposa species. I've never actually seen one get as big as uh, Ferraposa, Blondi, or Sturmy, but they do get very big. You're probably looking at eight, nine inch.
I think she's about six and a half, seven inch, seven inch leg span, I think. I haven't uh, measured her for a while. I'll be sure to do that though when she molts next. She's definitely in pre molt now because uh, the last three times I tried to feed her, she's refused food, and that is, uh, she just doesn't refuse food. She just keep on eating and eating and eating. So she's definitely in pre malt. Probably been about a month in pre malt. So I reckon end of January she will malt. I can't wait for that. So I think she'll be very big after this next malt. Always available in the hobby. Very cheap as well. I mean, you can pick slings up five pounds, ten pounds, might be even less, depends on where you go. The reason why they're so cheap is because this spider, this spiders produce fifteen hundred to two thousand slings in an egg sack, and they're very easy to breed as well. I've got a male upstairs. I bought him from a local pet shop. Um, I actually bought him to breed her. I was going to power feed her up, and that's when I found out that she's uh, in pre molt because she didn't didn't eat nothing. I'm not sure how old the male is. He's still eating, uh, but hopefully he's got a bit of time left in him. Hopefully try and get a sack from her. But we'll see. If he doesn't survive or he's too old, that's okay. I can find another one. But yep, yeah, this is the uh, Sardora Harrier Banner.